This is Carly Russell. Carly, bitch, you was lying this whole motherfucking time. You got me on here acting like I'm Oprah Winfrey, ho. Bitch, I done peeled off every single one of my lashes, ho, because I'm so stressed out about you, bitch. I'm talking about I keep watching the highway footage. I just swear up and down a midget got you in a headlock, bitch. But that's really you going in your back seat to get the snacks from Target, bitch. Bitch, I done called my grandma about you, ho. I done told my grandma to create a prayer circle for you. I really was worried. Then you done stole from your fucking job. You done put the money in your sock. Bitch, you done rolled up to your mama house butt ass naked, but you got some money in your sock. Tell me some of the kidnappers gave it to me. So the kidnappers gave you a parting gift? This why they don't believe us when we be missing, bitch. It's really people out here that need fucking help and you wasting our time because you trying to make a nigga mad. You finna piss me the fuck off, Carly. I really made a video about this shit. I don't be speaking on nothing, but I spoke on your lying ass. And you had to be from Birmingham, too. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talk to myself as a channel. I'm your host, Nick, and we back with another video today, guys. Let's just jump into it. I don't even want to waste your, waste your time. There's a disturbing update in the Carly Russell case, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. You guys know that as a journalist of some 20 years, retired. So just to basically kind of sell just the whole video. Uh, Carly Russell was, you know, a girl, I think, from Birmingham. She just went missing two days ago, and now it's coming out that she really wasn't missing, and... It seems to be some interesting things that's happening for the reason why she did what she did or the reason why people thought she was missing and things like that. So, I really try to make sure that I have vetted sources before I report anything. So I will wait and everybody will have it out there and be coming to my page telling me and I may not say anything until I have something confirmed. Well, this is what I do have confirmed. What I do have confirmed is there is some validity to police officers being suspended from the Hoover, Alabama Police Department because they are leaking information about the case. Apparently, this all is, has been prompted due to a legacy low achievement ex-boyfriend. So it looks as if Carly... So, for, like I said, um, this is Carly Russell. She went missing a couple of days ago. Um, a lot of people was like... Posting about it, you know, this is the last scene she was on the highway and things of that nature. It's coming out that she went missing to get back at her ex-boyfriend, possibly. And he was leaving her, had cheated on her with a stripper. And, you know, so let's just keep it going. He was dating a man who cheated on her. <coughs> and he, Excuse in fact, me. was going to leave her and get with the stripper, the stripper who was a single mother. Carly okay. found about, out about it, confronted the woman. They've been going back and forth over it. And it just started to affect Carly, like, mentally. That's why they have what's called prime of passion. When somebody just goes crazy because of the love that they have. For I feel bad for, like, situations like this. But also, at the same time, I think this is why it's so important for us to make sure as, as people, not just women or, or men, but when we in relationships knowing that we deserve better and we shouldn't have to be going back and forth with another person where we thought that we were uh, in a relationship with somebody and they're making us look bad. For instance, Claire Russell was very sad and distraught over the fact that her boyfriend was talking to or conversing with or cheating on her with a, um, a stripper. At that point, Carly, um, being as you can see, I think she's graduated college, she looks like she's a successful person, should leave that man, right? Do do the healings you need to do to um, leave him with your self-respect and go and become all you can be. Um, I think it's important that um, women realize, a lot of women, just people realize that a person like that, uh, a man like that, if that's happened, um, shouldn't uh, like get any like more of your time if he's conversating or uh, talking to or uh, conversating with somebody else when y'all already had an established relationship. And I know she's feeling the ultimate betrayal and I'm going to show you some, give you some more information on that so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking so about. So it looks as if uh, there's green camera video of Carly walking to her parents' home and then in the night and just as she gets a few doors down, she starts yelling and screaming, according to the uh, ring camera video. So, uh, and some of those police officers are being released from the police department or suspended because they are leaking information to my colleagues that are there in Alabama. <clears throat> this is the thing I hate about like the whole, like a lot of these police stations. And, like it's coming out that a lot of these police, a lot of uh, the police in America are just 
either corrupt or just not good people. And I really want to know the process of becoming a cop and getting vetted because it seems every time you look around, it's always, uh, and I know it's not every police station, it's not every cop. It just seems that they highlight uh, all the negative things that these cops have been doing or it's just a lot of bad cops and we really need to do a better job of picking who is going to serve and protect us, you know? Not to say that the cops are bad, I'm just saying, like, hypothetically, it just seems like, because this ain't bad, like, they leak information, but, you know, just procedures, like, God dang. Now, the information I'm getting is very similar to what this content creator has put out, and even though the reporters that are on the scene that I am in contact with have not been able to confirm this to report all of their network affiliates, this sounds like this is the information that's going to be coming out as soon as they're able to confirm it. It looks like 50 people from Hoover have already got fired for leaking what's really going on with this case. And it's trickled into my DM. So you mean... One of the biggest things I hate about this case is that a woman uh, lied about being um, uh, kidnapped. Um, and it sucks because there's a lot of black women, a lot of black children who have been kidnapped and disappeared and they haven't been found. And it makes a harder for those people who's really being kidnapped and really uh who really have been kidnapped uh make it hard for those people uh to be found because we already know that they don't put enough coverage on a lot of those black women and black children who's being kidnapped <clears throat> and hasn't been found and it makes it tough because they are giving national attention to a case about a woman who possibly only went missing to get back at an ex boyfriend who was cheating on her right and not to say that that her trauma isn't warranted by the state on this larger scale. Um, it just makes it harder for the people who are missing to become found because now other people are looking at them as like, see, this is why we don't need to give these people attention. Honey, all this was because she was trying to get back at her ex-man. Yeah, that boyfriend that spoke out about her being kidnapped and held and tortured. Yeah, that was her ex-man. And he actually cheated on her with a stripper. And Carly had it out with the stripper. And to get back at him, yeah, she... Disappear herself. And they got afraid when it blew up. This is what Carly said to the side chick. Itch, please. He told me everything you said about me and you thought I told him to say that. I wasn't even with him. You're delusional AF if you think your little conversation was... In and side note, just to let... Before they, she finished, it just sucks to go back and forth with somebody that's the side chick. A side chick should never really be a thing because when the main chick find out about the side chick, you should be already be gone. You should be done. Like, that's a new chick. There's no side chick. There's no main chick. <coughs> this society about having a side chick and a side dude is really weird because <clears throat> it should just be y'all two. It shouldn't be no side chick and all that. And obviously, that would be in a perfect world. I just find that to be so lame. You know what I mean? More than convenient. <coughs> the fact that he used you to get back at me out of anger. You want to talk about I don't compare to you on your worst day, girl, bye. You're miserable or at least should be being a stripper to provide for a child I've heard you've had from multiple people. So not surprised you don't know who your baby daddy is. Mention me or contact my N-I-G-G-A again and you'll see I'm not the one to play with. You don't want you and your whole family touched. You're poor. I'm rich. You're a stripper. I'm a nurse. You're ugly. I'm beautiful. You could never. You're the bottom of the barrel. Someone from the police department just could not watch us all suffer. So, I mean, if you thought that, why do all the things you did? You know what I'm saying? This is it's a lot of insecurity and a lot of stress coming from uh, her whole situation. It sucks that um this is even a thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just sad, honestly. They released these details. Here's the update. She's sticking to the story that she was abducted. She says she was lured into the woods by some people who live in the woods, described as a person with orange hair, balding on top, tied her up and drove her around and put her in an 18-wheeler and fed her cheeses for two days, and they painted her nails. They kept her on 150 somewhere, and somehow she managed to get away and run through the woods to her neighborhood until she got into her house and then goes into the hospital. Who I'm not saying that's not true and that can't happen. I'm just saying that that is highly unlikely that this happened in this situation. This is crazy. That's a crazy statement, but okay, I guess. Got some ring doorbell footage from her neighborhood, and it just shows her walking casually until she gets close to her house, and then she starts sprinting and flailing arms and acting a fool. 
She got caught stealing from work that day, fell out of nursing school, and has been on drugs. She had her friend behind her, and that's who picked her up. She was with her friend all weekend. The police knew she was safe because she unblocked her ex while she was quote-unquote abducted. She planned to disappear and realized it wasn't going to work. So that's kind of the story and the update. And then um, they have some more things um, I just want to point out in this article saying that um, days before she did this, she... um, <clears throat> she uh, re- researched for like two days. Uh, she said Alabama woman missing for two days. Last week's research online information about Amber Amber Alerts local bus tickets and abduction based movies like taken before disappearing. I don't know where. I guess to make up a story. I don't know why she would do all those things. Um, it just seems weird um, that this happened. I don't know, guys. Give me you know all your thoughts. About what's going on in the situation. You don't know about the situation. Highly, you know, go look at the reports and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.